Hey Lee, I just got home. I figured I'd shoot you a video. Alright. So here's your front end. Um, things in good shape. Headlights work. Windshield wipers work. I remember the windshield wipers being a little noisy. Uh, let's see here. A little bit of surface rust on the mirrors there. But nothing serious. Um, yeah, no serious fiberglass damage. There's a little bit of gel coat crazing there, but uh, not anything structural. Should be a quick fix. Um, it's eight on six and a half, I think, which is just normal Chevy Dodge Ford, and old Ford. Um, same thing with the back, and then it's single rear wheel. Uh, it's got dual exhaust there. Uh, let's see here. Over on this side, you got your uh, generator compartment if you want. Um, it doesn't have a generator in there currently. It has um, just like some oil and uh, the lug nut wrench, pretty much. Um, but you could easily put a generator back in here. It's still kind of uh, has the 110 wiring and then also um, I believe that underneath there's a capped off fuel supply line. Um, and then you got your water supply here, uh, other exhaust pipe, it's dual exhaust. Uh, you got your fuel filler, and there's the Balboa label. Uh, same thing on this side as far as condition. There's like a little bit of gel coat crazing, but the uh, fiberglass itself is in awesome shape. Around to the back, you got your spare tire mounted up there. The spare tire's in like incredibly bald shape, so this definitely needs to be replaced. Um, and then down there you got a tube to hold your dump tube. Um, the bumper could use a coat of paint, but it seems to be solid and it's got a hitch. Um, got your rear ladder back here. Over behind the rear ladder there's a porch light. Uh, and then there's a rack up there if you wanted to mount some solar panels or something. I think it would be pretty easy. Um, here's the little hole I was talking about in the RV door. It's from, uh, I believe, this bolt. At some point, my guess is this wasn't on here and it swung open and uh, popped that. Uh, coming on into the inside here. So by the door, you got your entrance step and the bumper. And then uh, three drawers down here. And then you got your closet here. It actually goes down quite a ways. It's probably, I'd say, over four feet of storage in there. Uh, and there is a light also. But it's uh, hooked up to the house 12 volt system, which is currently disconnected. Um, over here, you got a couple more uh, storage areas. These, uh, like I said, we use as a pantry a couple times that we went out, and uh, yeah, tons of storage. You could easily live out of this thing. Um, since it's built by a boat maker, they really were efficient with space, so it's got these molded in uppers that are awesome. Uh, they're fiberglass and they are huge. So you can see. It's probably, I don't know, maybe 18 inches back there. And then they run the entire length of the cab here. So, um, yeah, this thing has more storage than any uh, comparable van, that's for sure. As far as something that parks in a normal parking spot, short of a U-Haul truck, you're probably not getting much more storage. Um, Here's the trim for the old air conditioner. There's nothing installed in there right now. It's just got some insulation up there, uh, but it doesn't leak. Um, over here, you got your kitchen countertop. 
and there's your sink. <coughs> hmm. Um, it's got a strainer, and I've actually got a spare one of these strainers also. Uh, it's kind of a weird size, so it's nice to have one that actually fits like it's supposed to. Uh, hot and cold water there. And then over here you got your four burner, uh, four burner stove with an oven. Um, on this wall, your paper towels, clock, uh, in the middle there is the furnace controls, and then a dish towel hanger. Um, lots of lights also. There's two there. There's one up front, uh, one over here on this side, and then another one here. Uh, as well as those two reading lamps there. Um, Got some more storage. Uh, you could use those for plates or whatever. We've got a set of binoculars sitting in one. Um, over here, on opposite the kitchen, you have a nice long couch. And this thing actually pulls out really easily. And turns into an awesome bed. Uh, it's Nice and big, uh, comfortable. All the upholstery is in great shape. Um, over here, you've got your eating area. So, uh, got a couch over here, couch over here, and then you've got your table mount there. Um, and I've just got the table sitting up here at the moment. Uh, and then there's the table leg also. Let's see here. This is a uh, windshield cover, which has kept the front in excellent shape. Um, uh, I assume that this thing was probably garaged for a significant portion of its life, just because being a 72, everything seems to be in awesome shape. Um, you can see the driver's seat is in great shape, no rips or stains. Um, dash is also in excellent shape, but no cracks. Uh, nothing funky, seems totally sound, uh, and very solid. Um, up here you got your uh, HVAC vents, and your glove box. Uh, this thing works great, and it's actually pretty big as well. Uh, here's the dog house, which it's got clamp there and a clamp on the other side and then handle down here. Um, I don't believe I've ever taken this off. Coming over here to the driver's seat. Um, yeah, you can see that the passenger seat is in excellent shape as well. No rips or tears or anything. Um, the vinyl here on the doors is in good shape. It's got smoker windows on both sides, which I really I love these things. You get some really awesome airflow. Um, what else? You got your manual window crank down here. Windows work great. Um, yeah. Locks and uh, your armrest here is in good shape on this side as well. Uh, the sun visors also in good shape. They seem to work fine. Flip down, swing around. Uh, rear view mirror there, classic. Uh, you got your heat controls here. Uh, huh? Says it has air conditioning. I don't. I would assume that it probably doesn't work, but I'm not really sure. Uh, here you got your gauge set, so uh, fuel, temp, oil pressure, and alternator current. Uh, and then speedometer, which goes up to 120. Um, I don't know that it would go that fast, but it definitely seems to have no issues holding 65 or 70 up hills. Uh, it has a ton of power. Um, and then there you can see the mileage. Uh, 16,577. Uh, I'm not sure if it has rolled over or not, but um, I would say that it's possible those are original miles. 
just kind of based on the condition that it's in. Um, what else do we have up here? That's pretty much it. Oh, the headliner, it had a CB mounted at some point, I assume. Um, I'm not sure it was gone when I bought it, but that's kind of like the only uh, damage. The rest of the headliner's in good shape. The trim is all in good shape. Um, what else? Let's see here. Oh yeah, this. It's actually one of the big, biggest cosmetic issues is this little piece of trim. Um, it's, you know, being almost 50 years old, it's just kind of gotten really brittle. So that I could probably use replacing, but it's mainly there on the passenger side. The rest of it um, isn't in perfect shape, but it's not horrible. What else? Oh, we've got a bed up here, which I'm six feet tall, and uh, I can lay in it comfortably. It's pretty good shape. If I would honestly probably convert it to storage, just because there are better options for sleeping, but um, yeah, it's there if you need it. Uh, we've got these reading lights. What else? Um. Looks like there's a little bit of a crack here in this molded in upper. I hadn't actually ever noticed that before. Uh, let's see here. Here's your Sweet Route 66 curtains. Oh, I can show you the bathroom. I, don't, I haven't done that yet. So, bathroom door. And. Uh, it's actually pretty decent sized in here. You got a medicine cabinet with a light. Uh, there's your shower and a sink, and then TP holder, uh, toilet, and the vent. Uh, looks like it's powered. Um, never used this, so I'm not really sure. I just didn't want to deal with uh, dumping the tanks. So, yeah, I think that's the main elements. Um, there, under here, you've got your water tank and a hot water heater. And then, um, over here on this side, you've got uh, electrical stuff. It's a uh, fuse, and then this is 12 volt fuse, and that's going to be your uh, 120 fuse. And then this is the relay that needs to be replaced. It was kind of like clicking and making a bunch of noise when I bought it, so I just uh, disconnected it. But I had my buddy come over, and he said there's one here, and then there's one um, in the engine compartment, and that upgrading both of those would get power back here and essentially what they do is they uh, isolate the two batteries when um, the car is not running so that the house battery doesn't drain your starting battery um, let's see here there's a couple 110 outlets there's one there and there's one there and then uh, yeah, you got your fridge here. It's got a locking pin that keeps it closed while you're driving. Actually, I'm going to need to put this bed up to it in the fridge. bottom shelf and it's got this little retainer bar that you can keep your stuff uh, where it needs to be in the upper shelf and then down here you get your ice box so you could put ice cream in there or use it to make ice um, it runs off of propane and off of uh, 12 volt and possibly 120 I'm not positive I've only ever used it um, on propane, and I know that that works fine. Let's 
see here. You got some drawers here next to the fridge. And uh, this flips down. There's some storage under there. And there's also a bunch of storage under this bed. Uh, what else? As far as damage goes, um, it looks like this has been repaired at some point due to, uh, I guess it would be the window being left open. Um, it definitely doesn't leak. I've been in here when it's dumping out and there were no drips or anything. Um, and then this piece of trim could probably use replacing or at least like re-securing. Um, trim gun, some trim nails would fix it up pretty quick. You got deadbolt and bottom lock. Um, let's see here. And I believe this uh, slides open. And I think it slides open from the bottom also. Uh, here's your porch light switch. That's really it. Oh, there's a scratch here on the cabinet. As far as uh, like things that aren't perfect cosmetically go. Um, I don't know. That's, that's pretty much it, really. Carpet could definitely use replacing. Um, but all in all, I'd say it's in awesome shape for uh, how old it is. And it's super livable. Um, I ended up finding one that was already converted to four wheel drive, and it's a Chinook, which is like the most popular, uh, like supposedly high end version of this type of camper uh, that was made in like the later 70s and it is not nearly this nice the uppers are all pulling away up here um, the layout is worse it has less seating less storage and less counter space somehow in a vehicle that's exactly the same size so I'm not really sure how they did that um, but the layout of this is awesome it's uh, the best layout I've seen in a van this size. And uh, I'm six foot, so you can see, I mean, uh, I'd say that there's probably about six feet of standing headroom or so. Um, I'm standing up all the way, the top of my hat will hit. I think that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions, let me know, and I'll be happy to uh, come out here and take some pictures of anything specific. Or actually, let's walk up to the front, and I'll show you the engine bay. So it's got a hood release up here, which I really like. stock hood latch um, and no oil leaks or anything it's all uh, all pretty good this is the other relay I was talking about that's what I wanted to show you so I think they're replacing both of those relays um, should sort out any electrical problems I had my buddy who uh, deals with strange electronics for a living come over and uh, looked through everything and he said that that should be it and we jumpered it and it worked. So, um, yeah, and I was going to show you when he went through everything, he drew up a wiring diagram. So, um, we like traced all the systems and that is uh, a cheat sheet for what needs to be done as far as swapping those relays. I just I don't understand it, so I haven't tried to swap them myself. I was going to get him to come back over and do it um, and give him a little bit of cash or something, but 
Um, yeah, overall, she's in great shape. Um, starts right up, and uh, that like drip there on the pavement didn't come from this vehicle, I don't believe. It looks older and it's dusty. Um, you can see that's where the steering box was leaking, but it is not anymore. And let's take a quick shot underneath here. Let's see. It's got the dual exhaust there. Um, drive shaft and everything seems to be in good shape. And yeah. If you have any specific questions, let me know, and I'll be happy to um, come back out here and take a video of whatever you like.